Hello everybody, I'm Mar32 here, down with another guide for you on how to remote play your PS4 on your iOS device. So first off guys, we need three basic things to kick off this guide. You'll need an iPad or an iPhone, a PC or a Mac, and your PlayStation 4. Download an app called Splashtop Personal from the App Store. It costs $1.99, which is pretty cheap compared to the other alternative called RPlay, which costs around $10. Now we go to the Splashtop.com website, click on the Get Streamer button over on the top right, start the download, once it's finished, click on Open. The installer will start, but you'll notice I have two options, Repair and Remove, since I've already got the streamer installed. Player installer should go through the normal installation procedure. Let's go through it. After uh, it's done, click on finish and the streamer window will appear. First off, you can set your computer name to whatever you want. Mine is set to main PC. Then you enter your login credentials. If you don't have one, then you can easily sign up for one. And if we head to the settings tab, we can enable the streamer to auto launch on computer startup as well as set the sound output settings. You have three options, either to output to the mobile device only, output to the computer only, and or output to the both computer and mobile device. And if we Google search for PS4 remote play and head to the first link, which I'll link down in the video description, you'll be taken to the PS4 remote play download website. There you can choose either Windows or Mac installer to download. Once the download is done, go through the installation process and you'll notice I have three options too. I'll just use repair again. Let's go now to the remote play application. Now if you go to remote play application, you can go to the settings and then go to the sign in button on the window here you can sign into your playstation if you have multiple playstations in the household if you only have one you don't need to sign in because the application will detect the only playstation on the network after that we can set the output settings of the playstation of the remote play window 1080p is reserved for the playstation 4 pro users for me i'm an original playstation 4 user so i'll be setting it to 720p and we have two options standard and high for the frame rate i'll be using high because this because my connection speed uh, with the playstation is very high since i've got both the playstation and the computer set to ethernet then you click on start and it will connect to the ps4 which it, it will detect auto detect on the network there you go, there is my PlayStation. And let's just start a game just to show you that this is a fully enabled PlayStation. There we go, remote play session. I've got my controller in my hands and here we go, go into Kingdom Hearts 0.2. Now let's go to the iOS device. So we've just launched PS4 remote play on our PC. We've installed Splashtop uh, Streamer on our computer created a splash top account and now all we've got to do is we have purchased also splash top personal we can launch it it will launch ask you for a username or password a username and password that we have used on the splash top streamer application it will now show you a list of all your connected devices via any computer or Ma a pc or mac that you have splash top streamer installed on i've only got one now so main pc now we'll connect to my PC, which has PS4 Remote Play launched on it. As you can see, when it has connected, it reduces the resolution of the PlayStation to the resolution of the iPad, and it transfers the audio over from the PC to the uh, iPad. So it is fully touch capable, as you can see. Here's the mouse, here's the mouse. Uh, what we need to do now is make this window into full screen, and then move the mouse over here and this tab will be removed automatically and we can just go play. And there we go, we have a fully playable PlayStation 4 on our iOS device. Uh, this, is a, this is an alternative method to using the application I previously mentioned called RPlay. That application costs around $10 and it enables you basically to use your iOS device as a remote play capable device 
but based on previous uh, applications that did the same function, most of them get removed from the App Store or lose uh, compatibility with updated firmwares from Sony. So this method will never get uh, outdated, will never get removed from the App Store. Splashtop is a very reputable company and developer and they have also been updating their application constantly for the last almost six years. Uh, PS4 Remote Play application on the computer is developed by Sony which will not get removed anytime soon. So you pay $3 and you know you're not gonna lose your $3 and you have the uh, benefit of play of using your controller if you're close enough to your PlayStation 4. Uh, there you go. Uh, now you have a fully playable PlayStation 4 on your iOS device. Thank you for watching everyone. This was on Mark 32. Subscribe for more guides, videos, and tutorials on many different subjects. Thanks for watching. Peace out.